A new revolution in Egypt as President Mohamed Morsi is forced out of office. Hello, I'm Elaine Reyes with a special edition of Biz Asia America. Just a few hours ago, the head of the Egyptian army announced that the chief justice will temporarily serve as president to oversee what he called an interim period ahead of fresh elections. Let's go and take a live look at Tahrir Square in Cairo. The army also announced that the constitution has been suspended. The announcement was made during an address on television after talks between Egypt's army, opposition politicians and religious leaders. Morsi has also released a statement on his Facebook page calling the army's actions a coup d'etat. Let's go straight to CCTV's Adel Al Maruki live in Cairo with the very latest. Adel, what can you tell us? Well, Alain, it's 2 a.m. in the morning here in Egypt and celebrations seem to be just beginning. Tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands have took the street all over the country celebrating that President Morsi is no longer the Egyptian president. And they're celebrating the army united all the sects of the Egyptian people, political and religious, together. It is a remarkable day, as you said, and it's what makes it more remarkable is that Egyptians are still trying to uh, correct the path of their uprising that started two years ago. And they're not just giving up whatever they don't like, they're still pursuing their dreams. And today, um, the speech of Marshal uh, Abdel Fattah al Sisi, the defense minister, was quite inspiring to many, and he has become like a new hero to uh, the Egyptians. Let's take a look at what he said today. We hope to achieve a national dialogue that would end the violence and secure stability for the Egyptian people. But the statement by the president last night, which was broadcast before the 48 hours deadline, was not responsive to the demands of the people. And this has forced the armed forces to hold talks with national and political figures, as well as the youth. During the talks, the attendees agreed on a roadmap which included initial measures aimed at building a strong and united Egyptian society and ending the violence and the conflict in the country. Well, this is part of what he said today. Egyptians are looking forward to see uh, more reconciliation talks between uh, no, the mainstream now, who obviously have swept out uh, former President Mohamed Morsi. Uh, and they're looking forward for the reconciliation talks uh, with the Muslim Brotherhood. All people that we talk to here in Tahrir Square still want Muslim Brotherhood to be part of the society or just objecting to the way they were ruling uh, the country. Uh, what really also was remarkable for Egyptians here is to see um, the high cleric of Al-Azhar, the biggest Islamic cleric in Egypt, standing right next to uh, the Coptic Pope, and also political parties where uh, the Sunni Salafi Islamic Party was the second biggest political party after the Muslim Brotherhood, standing right next to Mohammed al Bradi, one of the biggest reformers in the country. Bradi also spoke and had a chance to express what he sees for the country. The roadmap that was put in place today is for the correction of the path of the January 25 revolution and in response to the demands of the great Egyptian people. The roadmap guarantees the achievement of the main demand for early presidential elections through a transitional period in which the constitution will be amended to a constitution that will reserve our democratic rights. The scene in Egypt was generally celebration. There are very few uh, incidents of clashes between Morsi supporters and his opponents. Uh, the former president has tried to speak through social media, um, calling his supporters to still believe in him and still believe that he is the president. This is the judgment. This is what the people of Egypt, Egypt wants. The army, however, spread its troops all over the country, trying to reduce the tension as much as possible. Elaine. All right, CCTV's Adel Al-Maruki reporting live from Cairo. We'll check back in with you later in our show.